Hi Ramona, uh, can you make some short introduction about you, please? Yeah, I'm Ramona Fortini, I'm from, from Switzerland. Um, yes, and I'm riding for the JB Brink Superior Factory. Yes. What are your feelings of the first World Cup uh, in Alpstadt? Ooh, Alpstadt was <laughs> a really difficult one for me. Um, the short track was, was good. Um, I was in second start row on Sunday, but I had uh, a really, really bad day and I suffered from, from start to finish. So I hope here in Novi Mesto it will be better. Yeah. And what do you think about the course in Alpstadt? Because so many riders don't like it. Oh, yes, no, I like it um, because I'm, I'm a good climber normally. Uh, so this course in Alpstadt uh, fits me well. Uh, yeah, if I had a normal day, so <laughs> yeah. What do you consider your greatest achievements? Um, so for me, the the best uh, result in my career or the most beautiful it was the World Champs last year in Turkey. Um, yeah, not just because of the World Champ title, it's because all the way through the year um, it was a difficult year for me. I was sick in summer and had such a great comeback, so it was incredible. Uh, what model of bike are you riding? Uh, how does your bike differ from the one? Uh, I'm riding this one, the Team XF, um, full suspension. I'm very happy about this bike. Um, it's different from my last year's bike. Um, the geometry is totally different, um, but I like it really well. How do you feel on Super Real? Ah, <laughs> good! <laughs> good, it's a um, good feeling on the bike. Yesterday I was uh, on a bike fitting, so we have changed a lot of things. So I have to train now with this position and um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. Are you looking forward to race in November? Ah, really. <laughs> really. I, I like the course because um, it's a technical one, a lot of routes and up and downs. Um, and it's also wide, so you can catch riders. Um, yeah, I like to be here. And what type of rider are you? Are they more technical or more flow? What do you like? Hmm. I think if it's um, technical and slow, I'm I'm really good, but in flow flow trails I I have to improve more. Yeah. What is it like to ride around Rainbow Jersey? I, it's <laughs> it's uh, really nice to to wear it. Um, it's a big motivation. Um, yes. <laughs> Did you originally plan to start uh, in the World Marathon Championship Series last year, or did you start due to COVID situation? No, it um, was never planned to start at the World Champs last year, um, but uh, with this situation from my illness in the summer, um, yeah, I, I wanted to start there. Yeah. Uh, what about the feeling from uh, marathons? It's very different from uh, cross country. Yeah, it's uh, different. It's um, longer, three three times longer than a cross country race. Um, but I think the intensity it's lower than a cross country race because in a cross country race you have one and a half hour full gas, more or less full gas. And in a marathon you you cannot ride five hours full gas, so this is different. Yeah. And there is a big difference between a technical level. And yeah, yeah. Also in marathon you have a lot of um, fire roads like this and. Uh, also single track, but mm, nothing with rock gardens or like this, so it's it's different, yes. Um, what do you like more, uh, cross country or marathon? <laughs> uh, it's different question, I would say. Um, I I like the mix, so I, I like to, to race cross country, 
um, but also sometimes marathon. So I hope I can combine these two disciplines in, in the future. Are you planning uh, to do World Marathon World Cup this year, as you are currently world champion? Yeah, I hope so. I hope uh, my calendar is um, not as full. Uh, so I I could race also the marathon. Do you do any other sports except cycling? Um, yes, I do cross country skiing. <laughs> I go skiing in the mountains with the ski touring. Um, and in summer I like also to go hike in the mountains. Yeah. I also saw that you start at the World Road Cycling Championship in 2017. How did you do then? Um, yeah, I started also road cycling when I was younger. Uh, so I was also on the World Champs in 2012 in the junior category um, in time trail and road races. But then yeah, you know, you come in a team who is a cross country team, and so um, the road was going in the background, and now I have no space for, for a race on the road. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what do you think about this uh, combination uh, cross country, road race in uh, w women? Um, yeah, I think there um, aren't a lot of women who combine it. Um, but personally, I think it's it's a good mix. So also for for the head. Um, some girls during winter try cyclocross. Have you ever tried cyclocross? <laughs> oh yes, <laughs> I I did it. I think two years ago. Uh, for training, it's 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 okay, but I don't like the weather there. It's it's cold and and wet and dirty and yeah. You you race 40 minutes in the dirt and and have to clean the bike uh, one hour. So it's 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 not mine. What are your plans for this year? Will you defend your rainbow jersey, or are you going focus on the Olympic Games? Uh, no, we, fo we focus on the cross country um, races, and I hope that I can start um, at the World Champs to yeah to defend this <laughs> this jersey. Yeah, of course. Thank you, Ramona, for the interview. Yeah, thank you. Uh, we will wish you good luck for next World Cup weekend. Thank you. Thank you.